Welcome back to the channel. This is Cam the Man Fishing, and today, guys, I'm gonna be showing you guys the baits, the perfect baits to use for this fall to or for this summer to fall transition. Currently, we're still in the summer, the late summer um, transition right now. It's still August. Um, we're just right there on September. This video should be coming out around, you know, around fall time. I'm gonna show you guys what I got rigged up. We got simply a Ned rig, and this time I actually have a Bandito bug on. I probably will switch that. Um, and then on this rod, since I was out here last time, sometime last week, um, we used this little Lunker Hunt um, Impact uh, little crankbait right here, the green back color. Um, we used that, that was a success, so I still got that kind of rigged up. And then as well, the very most important bait right here is right here, the Alabama rig, the A rig, the um, umbrella rig, whatever you want to call it, pretty much this right here. And I'm going to explain that when we jump inside the video. And then I got some crankbaits. That I want to use like some jerk baits too as well. That's gonna play part. Um, like I said, crank baits, all different kind of colors. You know, red, you know, gray with you know little sparkles in there. And then uh, of course a red too as well. Those are all perfect baits and colors to use for this summer fall to this fall transition. These these uh, bass are gonna be feeding up. And hopefully we can get crushed out here. Um, remember to like, comment, and stay tuned to the channel. Peace. So we're gonna start about right here. There's tons of little minnows and fry and stuff like that hanging around on top of the water right here so we're gonna start right here of course um but this right here is what we, what we caught them on last time this is the um Lunka hunt impact uh crankbait the color is considered green back um so we're gonna start it with that and see if we can't get on some fish and then as you know we progress on to throughout the video we'll switch things up and try some of those other baits so i'm just gonna try right around that edge right there i see a little bass right there hanging out right around the edge like i said this is a perfect it's a perfect strategy i mean that's what these bass are going to be doing they're going to be hunting the sides the uh the edge of these banks and stuff like that so that's what you want to do when i hit the sides and the edges man now like i said the points too as well that's what they're going to be trying to do yeah there's tons of little balled up a little balls of bait fish right there. oh the bass just now went crazy right there a bait fish when I cast it in, the bait fish kind of spooked up. Look at that, look at that again. The bass just going crazy when I kind of spooked up the, uh, the bait fish, man. Just coming in for like the kills. That's what you want to do, guys. You want to stir up the bait fish, and sometimes those bass, especially if you're matching a hatch really good, sometimes you can get those bass to hit your lure instead of the, uh, the bait fish. So that's pretty much what I'm going to try to do here. Hit. We're not going to go completely all the way around the pond. I just want to kind of cover, you know, this side real quick. We would definitely hit, you know, the other sides and stuff like that. Oh, we got one. Let's go, baby. Did not take long. Let's go. I literally watched him eat it. <laughs> Let's go, baby. First pass of today. Let's go. Did not take long. Chill out, bud. Fed up in here, boy. Look at them teeth. All right. We're going to get him back and get on some more. Let's go. There's another one right there, too. He's gonna break back to the edge. Man. Let's go. So we can't get in and get that one. Let's go. So I actually, what I did was I started cranking this crankbait a little bit slower than I was earlier. Fishing a little bit slower because, like I said, this gear ratio is a lot higher than that Zebco. So I don't need to fish it a whole lot faster. So think about it. the key is be slowing down a little bit. You know, I don't need. To it was a tunnel right there and I didn't I like a little pipe right there alrighty guys so I just wanted to clear up something over this uh, voice clip um basically I was throwing this a rig or the Alabama rig for like at least 10 minutes and was not recording I don't know how I did not know I was not recording but oh my goodness I couldn't believe it but I wasted at least 10 minutes and actually got a hit from a fish and did not know I was not recording so that sucked that I just wanted to say that um but we did finally land the fish so let's go ahead and get to it, man. We got one. We got one, guys. Right out the freaking mountain or fountain. Come here, boy. Get up in here. Look at he got like he had literally had like two bait. Oh, I thought he had two baits in there. Let's see which one he eats, guys. Because this is crucial. This is crucial. Okay, so kind of like some side ones or whatnot, but not the middle one, of course, because we don't have one on the middle, but man. 
second fish, man. Let's go. Let's take a big rig with him. Second fish, guys. Let him go. I'll get back to it. Toss him right by some bait fish. So. Eat up, bud. Man, I was literally about to give up. I was like, man, that cast was like beautiful. I cast it right there, pretty much on the edge of that fountain, but you know, still fairly good. My buddy just hit it. That was cool, man. That's two of the baits that we done used. The bites are, or it didn't take too long with the crankbait at all. And it definitely didn't take too long with the A-Rig neither, but they were steady just grabbing at it. They weren't really hitting it, so. I was just thinking to myself, you know, maybe I need to fish this bay a little bit faster. They're seeing it, but I need for them to commit to it. So by fishing a little bit faster, they think, you know, the baits put the uh or the bait fish are running away pretty much. I don't know. That's just my idea, thought, I don't know. Let's just try it out and see. But with it fishing a little bit faster, it seems like it's coming up to the surface a little bit more. So I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, this is the XM80 right here. Right there, a little white, transparent, kind of more transparent at the bottom, like a solid white at the top, and then like right up under that bill, you got some orangeness. Um, there's a couple of bass right here feeding up on the bait fish right here, like little pinky guys, but we're gonna try and see if we can get them. We should be able to get a whole lot more fish with this jerk bait than that A rig, being the fact that this jerk bait is a it's a rising jerk bait, but it sits still, so those bass have time to follow this thing up, to see this thing, to give time to see if they want it and actually there's a bass right behind it now it did look like it was gonna want it but it kind of swam away but might go for it eventually while we're still twitching it so what i like to do is probably like sometimes a uh twitch twitch so three twitches then calls that's what i like to do and most of the time those fish hit it on the pause sometimes they hit it right on the twitch so you feel that heaviness and then that's it it's a wrap and sometimes I do a two pop and call, so it just all depends on how deep your pond is. And what you can do is also with your pops is count how many seconds it takes for your, for your crankbait to rise to the surface. And of course, the further out it is, the longer it takes. But, you know, you count your how many times it takes to rise and you go off of that. You probably go like two or three seconds from that. So that'll kind of help you out with that. You can get real effective with that. But... I, got, I like to do two to three pops and then another method I like to use is um, the closer or the further away I am, I go, I pop a little bit faster and the closer I get to the bank, I like to go a little bit slower on my pop. Oh, we just had a bat just missed this thing. He hit it and did not grab it all the way. Holy crap. Like I said, guys, these fish will watch the whole time on the pause. And sometimes the moment you go to twitch this thing, that's when they go crazy on it. So we had our first hit on this bait, on this uh, jerk bait. Man, that strike zone is right there. I, I'm not even gonna get away from the strike zone. Man. I don't wanna go any place until I get the fish over here. They're stacked right here. Man. What was my other fish? Man, I think one's following me now. Oops, got one. Got one, boys. Yep. Right here. Not a big one, but pretty good. I watched it move it. Little small little pops out there. If I know they're following it, what I'm gonna do now is kind of give it that not a full pop, but a, a little small pop. Where the heck is my flies? Right down here. He got our very first fish on the jerk bait. It took us a while. These fish kept on missing the jerk bait. And what I think I'm gonna do different this time is like whenever I know they're following it and they kind of miss that or they kind of follow it and i see them kind of flash to it what i'm gonna do is just kind of like pop it give it half pops and that way that's exactly what i did with this fish and my um, little buddy smoked it so we're gonna get on got some nice pattern colors colors to them but we're gonna go ahead and get on to the next fish see you bud so first fish first fish came quick man you want to pay attention to how your fish are hitting it man how you fishing the bait, how they react to it too as well. So I knew that fish. I knew that fish hit it with those little uh half those half uh hits. 
those half twitches whenever it got close like that. So that's what I'm gonna kind of work on. Nice bass. Come here, boy. Let's go. I was trying to figure out who was going to hit it first. Who was going to hit it first. And this bass, of course, hit it. Thank God. Let's go, baby. Alrighty, guys. This has to be a healthy little one and a half pounder right here. Beautiful fish. This fish was pretty much one-on-one, one-v-one little fight with the, uh, with the turtle, man. It was. I saw the bass. It was following it, but I saw the turtle. The turtle had... Uh, when I cast it, the turtle ran off a little bit, swam off a little bit. But as soon as I started twitching it, the turtle turned around. I was kind of twitching a little faster. And I saw the shadow. Then I saw something got heavy. And I saw it wasn't the turtle. So, and it was this fast. But, man, nice fish. Let's get a release on him. Watch him go, man. Off down. Let's go. In the jerk bait. That did not take long. I literally came over here, made a bond cast. I was, was walking back, kind of just twitching it. And then as I got close to the bank. Out of bank. I just kind of pushed it a little bit off the bank. So man, let's go. Fish number two. I told you guys, man. A jerk bait. Something else. Let's see if we can't get one more. But we might switch up to something else. Let's see, man. Kind of twitching it more, not so to the side. We're kind of all night, you know. That was the guys before. I'm playing. Let's see if we can get one over here. That was the goal of the cast right behind this final here. We can pretty much launch this little trick. Here's the one fast. Ooh, we got one. Dang, I didn't even know that time. Come on, buddy. Come on. Let him drag a little bit. Oh, we got him. Yes, sir. Come in there, boy. Let's go. Let's go. Come in here, dude. Get, get it alive, man. Both troubles got him now. Let's go. Another fish on the jerk bay. We out here grinding. Let's see if we can't get one more on the jerk bay. Even though I did say he was going to catch one more. Let's see if we can't get one more man. Or uh, that was gonna be the last one. See you bud, right under the grass right there. And there you go. Let's go. I didn't even see that fish because my jerk bait dived down a little bit more. And I just saw my line. All right, so we're gonna try this little edge right here again. Ooh, got one, got one. Let's go. Oh man. No, what are you doing? Oh, the fish is right. Holy cow, come on, fish. Mm -hmm. uh, so, we're going with the little clutch right here. They even make a little mini clutch and a grinded clutch, but this is just a medium, uh, regular size clutch right here. And this color is shotgun shad. It's perfect because it's white. And it's kind of got these little, uh, I don't even know what it's called, but it reflects off the light. That's a nice little shine to that. And then it's like a grayish blackish uh top so that should work out good and then we got like a chartreuse on the bottom so 
or see if we can't catch any fish with this guy. And we can kind of bury our uh, depth, you know, what we want this thing to go to. We can want it, we want it to go deep, want it to go shallow, whatever the case may be. And we can even let this thing kind of flutter too to bring out that flash in this, uh, on the sides of how it is. But just a scrape retrieve would do that. So either way, whatever these fish want, we can give them to them. Different little uh, retrieves and stuff like that. The very first cast, I didn't get any grass on it. Let's just see kind of what we're going to get through. Kind of grass. So we can kind of fish this thing as if it was a dying bait fish. A scrape retrieve, how are you popping it up like that? And then it's good to a scrape retrieve. So don't be afraid. You don't have to always hold that same technique. Oop, you got one. Just as I made the switch up to a different uh, technique, let's go. I was just about to say that. Don't be afraid to switch up your uh, retrieve midway. And look at that, caught a fish. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Oh, we don't got the pliers. All right, guys. Came off of the clutch, man. Just as I was coming out, the words up. The words were coming out my mouth, man. Don't be afraid to switch up the different retrieves or to switch up your retrieve in mid midway. You don't have to, you know, pop it up from all the way to the from where you start your cast all the way to you, to the way you end your cast you can switch it up midways that's exactly what i did i started out fishing this thing or just now i started out on a scrape retrieve and i swapped up to that hopping up and down kind of acting like a dying bait fish that <laughs> worked as soon as i literally swapped up